Greetings everyone, Mama Goddess here and welcome back to my channel. This is Mama Goddess's Space. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for allowing me to be a part of this spiritual journey. This message is for the sign of cancer. So if you have cancer anywhere in your natal chart, especially your big three, this message is for you. All right, cancer, let's get into it and let's see what spirit has for you. All right, we have the 10 and the ace of knives. So starting over, starting something new, um, you have a, uh, a new outlook on life. Uh, maybe certain things were revealed to you. Mm, certain things were revealed to you and uh, it, 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 it kind of... It kind of messed with how you're feeling right now, okay? Um, Ace represents new opportunities, new beginnings, and potential, uh, new cycles. And uh, 10 represents the ending of a cycle. Knives represents thoughts and ideas. So something, because you also have this um, paw card. Um, which talks about certain things being revealed. So maybe there was something that was revealed to you by... Um, mom and dad there's been a lot of um parental things going on um your mom and dad so there's this mother of cup mother of baskets father of baskets and daughter of baskets so maybe there were certain things that were revealed maybe you are the daughter um and you learn certain things about your mom and dad what that were not so pleasing. Maybe you trusted them at some point with something and then you found out some information that was not so pleasant um, about, <laughs> about mom and dad. And it really pissed you off. You have this uh, anger card. Um, yeah, you, you, you found out something that wasn't the best. I wonder what it was um, about your parents. Maybe you, some of you found out that you were adopted. Don't know why that's coming up. Um, or that your adoptive maybe your adoptive parents uh, helped you find who your real parents were um or maybe for some of you um you're finally uh loose from the grip of your uh of your parents because you have this card that says i am taking action towards my dreams so maybe for some of you you are finding out who your parents are and then for some for the other uh parts of you you are um You are doing things that are finally making you happy because you had parents who were not the best um, to you growing up, um, were not supportive, were not capable of being parents, um, that are being the parents that you wanted them to be. And um, you're finding out a lot of information as to why. Um, maybe there was substance abuse in the home and you're finding out why there was substance abuse in the first place. Um, dang, this is this is this is not good because um, you have Miss Robinson that comes up, which is the devil card um, that comes up for you as well. Maybe some of you had to be rescued. Um, you have this card that says uh, firemen, bravest, heroism, sacrifice, rescue and extinguish. Uh, some of you had to be put into foster care because of how your parents were, were raising you. Um, and the things that you're finding out about them now is is pissing you off, <laughs> making you feel some type of way because what you really just wanted was your parents. Um, ah, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, you have this card that says bartender. Um, it says master of libation, small talk alle uh, alleviator. So, um, there may have been some um, alcohol abuse involved um, and some abuse, period. Um, I really get the sense that some of you are reuniting with your parents after a long time. You have this card that says reunion. And the things that you're finding out about them and why they gave you up in the first place, 
you may find out that they uh yeah that they were not capable of being the parents that they needed to be for you so they had to give you up for adoption or put you in the system um, because you have this card that says lost soul seeker of clarity wanderer confusion defeat and struggle so i do get the sense that some of you um out there um were raised in the system and you have been trying to find your parents for a long time and uh are trying to connect with your family for a long time and um some of you uh have found your parents but they are not the parents that um you needed them to be or or the the parents that you expected them to be now that you found them and some of them may not even be taking accountability for why they um, put you in foster care even though for some of you your upbringing um if some of you were adopted um for some of you the upbringing uh was a good one they did your adoptive parents did do the best that they um, did for you and they helped you out a lot and showed you a lot of love, but there was still a part of you that was lost and unfulfilled and you have been wanting your biological parents. You wanted to know where you come from and have some type of connection. Um, some of you have had some challenging experiences um, in foster care. And I'm going to say that um, challenging very loosely because um, I don't want to say it fully, but maybe some of you were R worded um, in those systems. And this is another reason why you're feeling so disconnected and lost um, in, in your in your journey. Um, but, you know, this doesn't have to be your story. Um, as, as it pertains to um, the feelings of loss, the feelings of guilt, because there's absolutely nothing that you need to feel guilty about, okay? None of this was your fault. You were the innocent party in all of this, okay? Um, so you have this card that says, I cultivate and nourish my self-worth because you are still worth it. You're still worthy and you still have a reason for being here, okay? Um, you have this card that says, I am putting the pieces together. I am putting all the pieces together because you are, you are, um, like I said, you're finding your parents, you're understanding where you come from, you're understanding, um, you know, why they gave you up to the system, you're understanding why they did what they did, and it's all kind of making sense for you. Um, I know there is a lot of anger um, here for you. Um, yeah, with this card that says physical pain, so maybe some of you were R worded. Um, which my heart goes out to you personally, um, in this, um, in this journey for you, but things won't always be, um, doom and gloom for you. You will recover. You will be a leader. You will, you, you have a story to tell cancer. You have a story to tell, and that story is going to lead you, um, to higher heights and deeper depths. You're going to be that upstanding leader. You're going to be that boss. Okay. You're going to be making money moves. You have this card that says master of wealth, risk, investment, management, and leader. Like I said, you still have worth. You still have value. You still have a reason for being here on this earth. So your story doesn't have to be uh, um, set in doom and gloom. That may be how your story started, but it won't be how your story will end. Okay. And one behind your story will end. You will have freedom. And you will have the uh, the freedom to do and to be and to be free and to be healthy and to be whole um, and to be healed. Okay. You have this card that says, my courage will light the way. Okay. Because one thing about you, you know how to um, go out there and make it happen because you kind of had to. Okay. Now you can utilize those same skills into being the confident, bold um passionate leader that you are all right cancer i hope it resonated with you i wish you the best of luck in all your endeavors and everything that you do in this lifetime um victory is yours <laughs> okay cancer if what i said today resonated with you go ahead and hit that like button 
go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're feeling. Okay, Cancer. If you, had a, if you haven't heard it today, know that I love you. You are worthy and you are worth it. Till next week, take care, Cancer. Peace.